Yo, what's going on dudes? I'm back with another video on how to install mods in Blin CD6. I know this is the hundredth time I made a video on how to install mods, but Ninja Kiwi has made some updates that drastically changes modding in Blin CD6. First of all, if you install mods in Blin CD6, you will definitely get your account flagged. So you can no longer avoid this by playing in offline modes. So just know that if you install mods, the account that you use while playing Blin CD6 will get flagged. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll tell you guys what happens if your account actually does get flagged. So if you guys want to keep your main account from getting flagged, it's better to create an alt account on Steam in order to avoid getting your main account flagged. If you've never created an alt account on Steam, I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a brand new account on Steam. After you guys have created your brand new account on Steam, you're going to want to go ahead and log out of that account and then log back into your main account. Next, we're going to come up here in the top left hand corner of the screen and we're going to go ahead and click on Steam. Next, we're going to go to settings and then we're going to want to come down here to the families tab. Now we're going to want to come down here to the authorized library sharing on this device and we're going to want to turn this on. Next, we're going to want to log out of this account again and then log back into your alt account and do the same thing on that account. After you've done that, we're going to go ahead and log back into our main account. Now, after you guys have logged back into your main account, we're going to want to go back to the Steam settings. Then we're going to go ahead and come back down to the family tab and then we're going to go to eligible accounts after you guys have logged into your new account on the pc you guys should have a new account pop up right here and then we're going to want to click the share tab and that's going to allow you to play blue cd6 on your alternate account without having to repurchase blue cd6 so now that we have our alternate account set up the next thing we're going to do is actually learn how to install mods so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come to this website right here. Of course, all of the websites that I'm going to be using, I will leave in the description below. That way you guys have easy access to all of these websites. So like I was saying, we're going to want to come to this website right here. And then we're going to want to come down here to where it says automated installation and download the Melon Loader installer. So after we click this, it will automatically download. So now that we have the Melon Loader downloaded, the next thing we're going to want to do is we are going to want to download the BTD6 Mod Helper.dll. So let's go ahead and grab that really quick. In order to download this one, you guys are going to want to come up here to your downloads tab and make sure you guys press keep. Now that we have the BTD6 mod helper as well as the melon loader, let's go ahead and start installing mods in Balloon CD6. So we're going to want to go ahead and go to our downloads tab on our PC and we're going to want to go ahead and double click the melon loader installer. Now we're going to have the melon loader program pop up on our PC. Now that we have launched the Melon Loader installer, the next thing we're going to want to do is we are going to want to install Melon Loader to our Balloon CD6 game file. And we're going to do that by clicking this right here, click select. And then we're going to need to find where our Balloon CD6 is located. And you can easily find where your Balloon CD6 is located by coming to your Steam library, going to manage under Balloon CD6, and then browse local files. After we've located where our Balloon CD6 game file is, we're going to go ahead and click the Balloon TD6.exe right here. And then we're going to go ahead and click open. Now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to want to do is make sure that all of your settings are exactly the same as mine, which of course we're going to want to go ahead and make sure that the latest tab is clicked as well as the auto detect tab is clicked. Then we're going to want to go ahead and come over here to settings and we're going to want to make sure that all of these tabs are clicked as well. Now that we've done all that, we're going to go ahead and click install. After this tab has popped up that says the install was successful, we're going to go ahead and press OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and launch our modded version of Balloon CD6. And the reason why we want to launch Balloon CD6 is to go ahead and generate the Melon Loader folder. On top of that, we also want to generate the mods folder as well. Now that we've done all that, we're going to go ahead and exit back out of Balloons. And then we're going to want to come back to our Steam library, right click on our Balloon CD6, and then browse local files once again. Now you guys can see we have a bunch more folders under our BTE6 game files. And now we're going to want to go ahead and open up a mods folder. Now that we've done that, we're going to want to open up our downloads folder once again. And then we're going to want to drag and drop the BTD6 mod helper over to the mods folder. After we've done this, we can go ahead and close out of both of those. And now we're going to go ahead and restart our balloon CD6. Now at this point in time, if your balloon CD6 fails to load and you get an error that says .NET 6.0 runtime error, you're going to want to come over to this website right here to download the .NET 6.0 runtime for your PC. But now that we have the Blue CD6 mod helper, we should have the mods folder in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And from this point, installing mods is super, super easy. The only thing we need to do is click the mods uh, tab, then come down here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and click browse mods. Now, the only thing we need to do is choose a mod that we want to go ahead and download and then click this button right here to download the mod. Do you want to download the ultimate cross pathing mod? Of course we do. 
Now that we've downloaded the mod, the next thing we need to do is we need to restart our Balloons TD6 in order to load the mod. And as you guys can see, the Ultimate Cross Passing mod is working perfectly. So now, congratulations, you guys have successfully installed your very first mod. And now, if you guys want to uninstall mods from your Balloon TD6, the only thing you need to do is come back to your Downloads folder, double click your Melon Loader and launch this program once again, and then click Uninstall. But there you have it, guys. That is how you install mods in Balloon TD6. Now, what happens when you get flagged in Balloon TD6? First of all, you guys will notice in the top left hand corner of the screen, our settings tab now has two leaves known as the leaves of death next to the tab itself. And this means that our account is actually flagged. Now being flagged, we can no longer participate in Bloons TD6 contested territories. On top of that, we, we can no longer participate in like the competitive aspect of races, but we can still participate in races. We just can't get any of the rewards from like placing in the top 1% or something like that. We can also participate in boss events, but we can't participate in ranked boss events. And the last thing we won't be able to do is we can no longer go to the social tab and participate in quick matches. We can still play in co-op games, but we need to host a co-op game in order to participate in them. And that's all. If your account gets flagged, those are the things that you can no longer do in Blue CD6. So if participating in contested territories, ranked bosses or ranked races or the social tab, make sure you guys create that alternate account on Steam in order to install balloons. That way you don't get your main account flagged like I did. Anyways, dudes, if you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys hit that like button and I'll see you dudes in the next one.